Oh. Shit. I can see why Studio Ghibli made Nino Kuni with these people. <laughs> to be continued. Shut up! <laughs> this is going to be a <laughs> so to uh to get Civ out of the the damnation that is playing the K archetype two games in a row. Uh oh shit! I am going to be playing mine. There he is, Blue Badger. Shh. I thought your audio cut out legitimately. <laughs> Who's there? Is somebody there? Oh, it's probably nothing, but... The girls are fighting! Hey, what are you doing? Oh! oh. There's two of her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're not biased, not at all. Oh. <laughs> you knew, you knew. <laughs> I'm feeling queasy. Come on, Nick! It's just like I said. Oh, oh shit. What the... Maya, what do you mean? There we go. You're such a worrywart. I knew you'd get all jittery before the trial. It's not like that. It's just I didn't expect to have to stand in a foreign court. <laughs> You're fucking... Your Nick voice sounds like a dude who's been couch surfing for five years. That's me. Yeah. We don't know much about the court system here. The Legal League of Attorneys would like this to be an exemplary case. Hmm. So that make you an exemplary attorney, nee 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 nee. I hope you don't infect any British lawyers with your nervous attitude. You're making it sound like I'm a virus or something. My name is Phoenix Wright. I never thought I'd have to do this. I'm a defense attorney. I mean, you don't want to switch, do you? No. <laughs> this is Maya Faye, my uh, assistant of sorts. I'm going to turn you up a little bit because your Nick voice okay. is a lot quieter than your... Uh... Then you're Luke. Luke. Okay, I'll, I'll lean more towards my microphone. Okay. okay. Uh... So, uh... Of sorts! For for the record, I have said this before, I don't like Maya. I think Maya and Phoenix have zero dynamic, and I wish she wasn't in the series. Or I wish she was in the series for the cases where she was relevant, and not all of the other ones. Of sorts! I guess I should explain why she's dressed up like that. But it's a long story, and we don't have the time. We've come to England on the Legal League of Attorneys Exchange. I'm acting as a representative of American Legal League. You know, they probably sent you because you don't ever seem to be busy. Let me... Wow, you're nice. No, we she isn't. We in court, so we thought it'd be like a vacation. But here we are. As usual, we've been dragged into a strange case. Hey, Nick, so what do you suppose this trial's all about? What if it was this? Look, check it out, today's newspaper. Look at this weird looking human. What the hell's going on? <laughs> British people are so ugly. British people look. Oh my God, Maya, you can't just ask someone why they're British. Elusive jewel thieves at large in London, Scotland Yard on red alert. Wouldn't that be cool? Ugh, Maya, don't get your hopes up. We're here on an exchange. It should be a simple textbook trial. Really? Like, literally, there is no flavor to this voice I'm doing for Nick because he doesn't have a personality. He he has a little bit of a personality. It just doesn't come out when he's with Maya is the problem. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, like, the reason the reason Nick works as a character is because you get to see his internal dialogue where he is a idiot constantly grasping at straws and he's really mm. good at bluffing and he mm. works really great when he is with like Edgeworth or a serious character and he's playing the goofball. He works mm. so badly with Maya where he she's just like I ate the evidence. Maya, repeat. Mm-hmm. I'm going to die on this hill. Well, that's boring. Exactly. And then so many people were excited for the sixth game because Maya comes back after being absent for two games. And they were like, oh, Maya comes back. And she shows up and ha still has no dynamic with Nick and is noticeably so much worse at being a character than the new assistant character in that game, Rifa. Fucking I look. hate her hair. I hate her bangs. How do you do? Callisto, you? I Which? Miss Darklaw. Isabella, this man is your defense lawyer. Yeah? Yeah? Oh. She's been, been hypnotized. Hey, scriptwriter, you want to match the mouth flaps a little better than that? <laughs> Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Pleased to meet you. Um, I'm Phoenix Wright, your attorney. Pleased to meet you. What's with this girl? Can't she hear me? Is this girl the defendant in today's case? That is correct. She is the pupil I'd like you to represent. She's pleading guilty, so there's not much you need to do. Pleading guilty? I suggest you accept the punishment proposed by the prosecution. What? what kind of request is that? Um, Spella? What are you accused of? Have you not received the case materials? No, we haven't, and we weren't told anything. What is this? An American appointed lawyer? Ha 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 ha! My, my. Forgive me for this oversight. Here, yeah, this is the case file. Attorney! <laughs> Defendant! <laughs> the court hearing will begin now! Please proceed to the courtroom! Do they talk in unison? <laughs> Good ol' Ace Attorney! Well then, I entrust a spell to you. That's... wait, what? No way! I didn't even have time to look through the case file! Spella, please be a good girl and don't cause any trouble. Yes, Mama. Goodbye, Mama. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did she just mumble something? Not a witch. It, Spella, what did uh, you just say? Chop, chop, defense. Let's not keep. <laughs> can we? Can we do these guys together? You're they're... right. Also, the British. Yeah. Chop, chop, defense. Chop, chop, defense. Let's, Let's not, not keep, keep everyone waiting. <laughs> They're getting used to it. They're they're new on the job. Yeah. And so another trial begins. And as always, I've got no idea what's gonna happen. All right. Let's do it, Nick. You sound like an arcade racer announcer. She does. Choose your fighter. Ace Attorney looks so much better in 3D. It, it looks very good. Oh my god, you, do you want- He's in session for the trial of the Spella Cantabella. <laughs> the prosecution <laughs> is ready, your honor. How about the defense? Are you, uh, um, yes. Well, I guess you could call it ready, your honor. Ah, they did not figure out Phoenix's models by this game, huh? <sighs> your first appearance in a British court. Well, yes, that's right. <laughs> the legal league of attorneys exchange, was it? Mm, sounds like fun. He sounds like a Digimon voice. The sights. <laughs> you could take it easy today. Don't worry. Prosecutor Flinch will take care of everything. He's treating us like amateurs, Nick. What? You should not be here. Boy, this looks bad. <laughs> really defend this girl? 
<laughs> that was actually a really good read. <laughs> I am here. Hello. Really I quick, I'm gonna grab something. Oh boy, guys. Alright. You wanna be the judge? I need to find a most it's, uh, hasty. It's your call. Well, since, huh? Your call. I mean, fuck it, I don't care. Alright. Okay. Well, since this is your first case here, I will ask you simple questions to make sure we're all on the same page. Uh oh, yes, that's uh that's fine by me. Hey, have a sick swim. Answer my questions, uh, Mr. Wright. What is the name of the defendant? That would be Espella Cantabella, Your Honor. That is correct! <laughs> That's the first hurdle. Hmm. I see you're terribly proud of yourself for answering the- Oh, he's British. They're all British. I see you're terribly proud of yourself for answering that basic question. <sighs> Let's move on to the next question. What is the nature of the events? Um, what crime is Espella accused of? You know, Espella seems like such a timid girl. You think it's something minor like shoplifting? Oh, that's me. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe. I wouldn't call it minor, though. Can't be anything major like that large-scale jewel theft. Well, knowing that this is Ace Attorney... <laughs> Please answer the question! Can you name the two offenses? Um, did you just say two? Nick, think! What other petty offense could it be? I don't know. I'm clueless about this case. We weren't told anything about it at all. My, my! Could it be that our esteemed visitor left his common sense back home? All the evidence is in the court record. You haven't forgotten that, have you? Ah, oh, that's it. The court record. Right! That's what you always refer to! The court record! Nick! Wow! Look at your records! What are you doing? Ooh, this is a new little loadout. Okay. Theft and assault. Y yeah, it just slipped my mind. It must be the nerves. Okay, let's check it now. Touch the court record. Yeah, let's the just... court record holds all the evidence for the case. I'd better take a look. Right, defense. You've had enough time to ponder my question. What is Miss Cantabella accused of? No, oh, I wasn't looking. Uh, <laughs> theft and assault. Well, according to the case outline, it was theft and assault. Indeed. What a disgusting crime. <laughs> Is that correct, defendant? Yes. No kidding. She doesn't look like a violent girl. At least not to me. I'm an expert. I'm stupid. Maya Faye. God, yeah, it's now so hard to- that's settled, it's... prosecutor Flinch. Please briefly outline the case for the court. Hmm, quite. Yes, your honor. The incident took place on a small freighter moored at a harbor on the River Thames. The freighter was carrying goods away from London. The defendant illegally boarded the ship and tried to steal some of its cargo. This is illegal, you know. But she was discovered by a crew member and captured by the ship's security guard. So she was caught red-handed. And she violently resisted when found by the crew member. Violently resisted? Indeed. She picked up a steel pipe and hit the crew member on the head. Sounds pretty vicious. So that's the assault she's accused of. And what did the defendant attempt to steal from the freighter? A stuffed toy, your honor. Wow. 
We need this to be a piece of evidence in every case ever. It's the Metropolitan Police mascot, PC Badger. Wow. <laughs> uh, the, the jokes make themselves. <laughs> oh, Nick, I want one. Then steal it. I see that mascot made a career for itself in England. Who would have thought? It's cultural appropriation. <laughs> I think we all have a clear picture of the incident now. The prosecution may begin. The prosecution calls its first witness. Please bring him in. There's something fishy about this trial. And there's something even fishier about my client. There isn't an ounce of expression on her face. Walks over with a white sharpie, draws, like, highlights on her eyes, and it fixes her immediately. I'd better keep my eyes wide open. Yeah, I'm American. Witness, state your name and profession. A ship is always a risk at every hour, minute, and second. That's where I come in. I am a peacekeeper, the one and only guardian to an otherwise defenseless. The name's this Smiles. Pokemon Johnny character. Smiles. Johnny Smiles! <laughs> Uh, yes. According to the police report- I, like, I know we just heard this guy talk. It just immediately drains through my brain like a- You basically have it. Okay. According to the police report, the witness was patrolling the freighter on the night of the crime. <laughs> yeah, I was patrolling the freighter, and my expertly trained eyes should have left me nothing unseen. <clears throat> Oh god, do you think he has a habit of eating chocolate and his breakdown is revealing that his smile is like a denture and his teeth are all gross and cavities? Ugh. I'll go blind if he keeps smiling like that. Very well, Mr. Smiles, we would like to hear your testimony. Describe what happened during your night patrol. God, I missed the court. Yes, sir. Johnny Smile. This is gonna be Australian. Johnny <laughs> Smiles. Yes. God, I have such a hard time. British is like so slight that I have such a hard time staying there now, <laughs> honestly. Mm -hmm. Tickety boo and such. Johnny Smiles will reveal all. Yep, it's just gonna turn into Australian. That night, I went on patrol as usual. My keen ears latched onto some suspicious noises coming from the cargo hold. I sprinted at full speed to the cargo hold, but I was too late to stop the blow. The next moment, I captured the criminal. <coughs> expertly. Within seconds, I had established there was nothing out of order at the crime scene. Yeah, I so. I wasn't paying attention. The woman you arrested was... It was the defendant, Espella Contabella, sir. And, as per standard patrolling procedure, all lights were on and you saw her clearly. This guy is such an Aram character. Yeah. <laughs> is that correct, Mr. Smiles? Y yes, sir. I'm an expert after all. Huh? Is it just me? Or did he hesitate before saying that? The defense may cross-examine the witness. Y y yes, sir. I'm starting to talk like that guy. Let us see how skilled our visiting barrister is. Uh, yes, by the way, Mr. Wright, you're not allowed to wear blue in the court. That's illegal. <laughs> our cross-examination procedure should be the same as anywhere else. But, just in case, would you like to have it explained to you? Nope. <laughs> no, I'm good. No, thank you. I am fine. Rules, rules, rules. Okay, let's do it, Nick. You do all the work, and I'll stand here and be annoying. Yep. The defense may now cross examine the witness. Right. Twinkle. Shing. I thought those were spoons up top, actually. Yee. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me. Oh, you can use hint coins in court. Interesting. Oh, that's, that's why they gave you so many. Yeah, that's why you start out with 30. Okay. Let me, uh... Switch into the back of the head. Oh, 
Oh, does he have little freckles? Oh, yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. They're, they're very tiny. This guy looks like a rejected design for uh, the fucking JoJo villain that Jonah Scott voiced in our So This Is Basically yeah, JoJo yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so just so I know. Light injury. Laceration to the back of the head hit with a long blunt object. Inflicted light injuries. Okay. Are you sure you didn't notice anything unusual about the cargo hold? Not a thing. Well, aside from the defendant swinging that pipe around. Could someone else have been hiding in that room? Objection! The security guard patrolling the freighter is responsible for checking every corner. He would have spotted an intruder right away. Isn't that so, witness? <clears throat> um, yes! <laughs> I carry my trusty pocket torch for precisely such a task. I'd have noticed anything suspicious in an instant. Your Honor, may I? What is it, Prosecutor Flint? I would like to get the events straight while referring to this crime scene photo. <sighs> the defendant. The defendant and crew member were fighting in the back of the cargo hold. Is that correct? Yes, sir. They were fighting right under that emergency light. Hmm. Some items are spilling out of the broken crate. Indeed. That crate was broken by the defendant with a steel pipe. Incidentally, the items we can see spilling out are stuffed toys depicting London's own police mascot, Politically Correct Badger. <laughs> God, I hate you. I see. <laughs> the crime scene photo shall be added to the court record. I miss when video games weren't political. <laughs> Why do they add women to my video game? <laughs> the witness may continue his testimony. I mean... It's this, right? Objection. Objection! I'm a normal man. I'm a normal man. You're saying that there was no, n nothing out of order in the cargo hold? Well, that's a bit funny. Huh? The point is, one of the crates in the cargo hold appears to have been tampered with. Objection! Ah, that. The defendant must have smashed it with the pipe. Nothing odd about it. Please take a look at the crime scene photo. No! Oh, Kippy, there's this broken crate where the fight took place, but also... There's another crate here that seems kind of strange, don't you think? Ah uh, yes, I the player for sure noticed that. <clears throat> yeah. This crate, sitting quite a distance away from where the fight took place, appears to have been forced open. I love how Bruce, more and more normal your voice for him is getting. I am a normal man. Isn't this the sort of thing a security guard should immediately notice? Um. You testified that you established there was nothing out of order at the crime scene. So how come you didn't notice something so obvious? Oh! <clears throat> Order! Order! That's certainly a serious oversight, particularly for someone claiming to be an expert. Objection! Whether the witness is an expert or not bears no relevance to this case. What matters is that he saw the defendant hit the victim with a steel pipe. Hold it. Oh, that's you. Hold it. What you just said. I'm afraid I can't let that slide. I excuse me? I am an expert guard. Focused, thorough, precise, a true professional. <laughs> to prove it, I will testify once more. You're all dying to know why I ignored that one crate, huh? What? what? <laughs> Very well. The witness shall continue his testimony. What excuse do you think he'll come up with, Nick? 
Who knows? I got a bad feeling about this, though. What did he actually see? God, I miss the sixth Ace Attorney game where it's you and Rifa and then Apollo and Athena. It's it's such it's two great dynamics. Mm. It's only natural that I miss the other crate. The lights in the cargo hold weren't on. But of course, I had this. A guard's breast friend is his <laughs> trusty pocket torch. The emergency light was on, mind, so it wasn't so dark I couldn't see. It was magical darkness. I saw that girl stand right in front of the crew member as she attacked. And there was no one else in that room. You have Johnny's word for it. Wait, wait a moment. The security company claims that the lights were on during the patrol. Yes. Yes. That's the official procedure, you see. To lie. But those light controls can be such a pain in the... Oh, wait. No, that's not it. I mean... The truth is, an expert like me doesn't need those lights to do his work. Not when I've got this. The focus beam of my trusty torch cuts through the darkness like a laser. The witness will refrain from pointing the torch in this direction. Justice may be blind, but I'd rather not be. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, sorry, Your Honor. Oh, and they this spell honor with a U. Torch. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Shall be added to the court record as evidence. Ew, what is that? That's Maya, sir. What is it, your honor? This, this pocket torch is covered in something sticky. Disgusting. Oh. It seems my sweet little buddy's been up to some mischief. Sweet little buddy? You mean a chocolate? Here we call it the Queen's Vanilla. I <laughs> Johnny left sticky fingerprints. Sorry, Johnny left sticky fingies all over his flashlight. Oh, God. Ugh, don't look at me. I'm not touching it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. And they spell defense with a C. Pretty sure she got hit in the back. Yeah. Objection. You're sure the defendant was standing right in front of the crew member? Absolutely. They were facing each other the entire time. Well, that's weird because it clearly contradicts this evidence. Uh, what, uh, what, what do you mean? Mm. According to the victim's medical report, the blow was dealt to the back of the head. The back of the head? <laughs> Do you understand now? If they were facing each other, there is no way the victim could have been hit from behind. Ye yes, sir! I don't know how I'm supposed to deliver that. Yesy! Hey, Brendis, can you offer an explanation for this contradiction? I love this guy's face in this portrait. <laughs> uh, yes, explain yourself. It's the first time hearing of this. Y yes, sir, I... Um, it's... It's strange, isn't it? I'm totally sure they were fighting face to face. Oh, he's losing it! I tried this melting chocolate bar on it. It doesn't look like he's lying, but then... Hey, Nick! Look at me! Oh my yes. god! What the fuck is your problem? What are you doing, Maya? I was just checking if I could hit the back of your head while you were facing me. I'm a... a sociopath! That's the word. Crazy. It doesn't seem doable, especially for someone as vertically challenged as me. How about you keep your dangerous little experiments inside that head of yours, Maya? <laughs> I kinda like living, thanks. <laughs> oh, at least we learned a couple of important things. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's still me. At first, this witness was unreliable, and second... <laughs> that prosecutor didn't investigate this case properly. 
My gut feeling is right. There's much more to this case than meets the eye. Now's my chance. What should I do? Your Honor, the defense asserts once more that the defendant, Espella Cantabella, is innocent. Why? This is foolishness! Just who do you think you are, anyway? Waltzing in here with your ridiculous assumptions. Balderdash, I say. That's not how it was supposed to be. What did he just say? Not how it was supposed to be? Smick, in light of this new development, the court's opinion is that the defendant is in no way cleared of suspicion. However, the witness's testimony has been proven unreliable. That's more like it. Looks like I'm starting to win over the judge. Objection! Don't forget that the defendant admits all charges. Surely her guilt is beyond doubt. Objection. The defendant's job is... The defendant's job is school. The defendant is just a schoolgirl. You can't go on her confession alone. He just gets more and more... It's like, the defendant's job is school. School is good for normal human. I am normal human. Phoenix right. I am Phoenix right. My boyfriend is a robot, and I am the most human male there is. He has not caught on that I am also a robot. <laughs> so far, we have established only one thing. I am a human! <laughs> that Mr. Smiles, without a little period, period yeah. Smiles, is neither an expert nor a reliable witness. Oh, I didn't ask for this. Hold it! In my long six in my long six month career as a security guard, never have my professionalism and expertise been questioned. Isn't the six months barely past the probation period? You're saying Goldilocks there is innocent? In other words, that she didn't assault anyone? And that she didn't steal this toy? Isn't that so, Mr. Lawyer? No. <laughs> um, mm, yeah, uh, at least uh, we have yet to see any proof that she tried to steal it. <laughs> Can you? We are the villains. Can you prove it? <laughs> I got you there. I'm not very good at not British. <laughs> what? G uh, got me how? I have a decisive piece of evidence. <laughs> Worst where you could have read that. <laughs> <laughs> the proof that that girl was trying to kidnap PC Badger. What? You do? Even Flinch is shocked. When I seized the girl at the crime scene, she was clasping this in her hand. She didn't even seem to notice. Oh, hold on. I'm getting pinged. Ah. It would appear to be PC Badger's tag, Your Honor. Now that, you now that you mention it, this mascot does have some sort of an ill-fitting tag attached. What is this engraved on the tag? Is that an address? Oh, you mean there's an address written on here? It would appear to be Scotland Yards and their telephone number. It is Scotland Yards' mascot, after all. This tag, it's been ripped from one of the Badger toys? Sorry, the what? Badger toys? Yes, sir! Sorry, PC Badger toys? <laughs> the suspect was caught in the act of nicking this very toy. The tag was ripped off during the fight. What? Then this tag is... What we have here is the straight of evidence that she was trying to steal the cargo. This guy is me anytime we play this. <laughs> no way! I wasn't expecting evidence like that! <laughs> Objection! Uh, uh, witness, I was never informed of such evidence. If you had this in your possession, why didn't you hand it in to the police? Sorry, Mr. Prosecutor. I am an expert at what I do. And my expert advice to myself was that I'd better keep this as my secret weapon. <laughs> this guy sucks. I like him. Yep. So I waited for the right moment to single-handedly settle this trial. Oh. Looks like Flinch and I are both in uncharted waters now. This sucks! Is vital evidence added to the court record? 
Bro, I am just, I am just standing here. <laughs> um, defense, Mr. Wright, was it? Yes, uh, Prosecutor Flinch? Your appearance in this court was a very hastily decided affair. That is true. I call from the Attorney's Association came out of nowhere. Perhaps in all the confusion, the request from your client escaped your attention. Were you not instructed to accept the sentence proposed by the prosecution? No, 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 I can't hear you. Mr. Wright, come to think of it, Miss no, 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 no. Darklaw did say something about that before the trial. Do you want to take this lady over since you're not voicing anyone fun? Yeah, sure. She's pleading guilty, so there's not much you need to do. I gotta remember, what did she sound like it's, even? It's very, like, high posh London. Oh, very posh, I see. I suggest you accept the punishment proposed by the prosecution. That's what you were asked to do. You have convinced us all of your skill, so your good name will not suffer. Why not simply admit the defendant is guilty and call it a day, hmm? Don't wanna. <laughs> What do you say to that, Mr. Wright? Depending on your stance on this matter, the court may now pass the verdict. My stance? There's something I don't need to think twice about. The defense requests that the trial continue. What? what? The defense stands by its assertion that Espella Cantabella is not guilty. Very well, Mr. Wright. If that's your desire, then I, too, have a request to make. Your Honor. Yes, Prosecutor Flinch. The prosecution calls its second witness. Me! Uh, hey, wait a second. Uh, what about me? Come on, guys. Don't forget about Johnny. L let me start from the top. No detail omitted. <laughs> I suggest you leave the witness stand and go back to witnessing your crimes on television. Yes. Mm. Yes, sir! <laughs> you didn't cry! I am crying! He's crying. I believe a break is in order. Get out of my courtroom! <laughs> the court will now adjourn to a 15 minute break, Mr. Flinch. Prepare your witness. Is that understood? Huh, I guess they just never have a period after uh, the, like, honorific Mr. Mrs. whatever. It's strange. That's really weird. Yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter, but it is kind of a strange choice. Yes, your honor. The defense has no objections. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. The defense oh has so Why many objections. Oh god. Oh god. Looks like Flinch finally got serious about this case. And that means... The real game starts now. Cuts immediately back to Leighton and Luke. Please, God. Yay! I'd like to I'd like to hit the inevitable point where everybody gets to Labyrinthia before stopping. I kinda don't yeah, want to yeah, start yeah. in the middle of a trial. Yeah, for sure. Glad that first part's over. That witness was uh, quite a character. I bet he'd love to be in one. A crime drama. He'd end up making it a comedy, though. I'd hate it if poor Espella was found guilty because of his shaky testimony. But at least now it looks like we might be able to get Espella a not guilty verdict. Yeah, I hope that cheered Espella up a bit. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot about Dark Law. She's reading my newspaper! Maybe uh, it's just me, but she doesn't look pleased. Hmm. This girl's such an Aram girl. Yes, she is. Oh, it's you. I appreciate your efforts, Mr. Wright. Um, thank you. But while I understand your drive to win this case, my drive. This is not the time for your personal ambitions. I don't, uh, I told you before, didn't I? That Espella is pleading guilty and that you should accept the proposed punishment. Ah. 
<laughs> this incident has already been settled between our school and the police. But Miss Darklaw, a spell it could be innocent. Ah, la 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 la, I don't care. <laughs> Believe me, it will be Miss Bella's best interest if you end the trial as soon as possible. The more this trial drags on, the more traumatic it is for this poor girl. I, uh, I'm sorry? She may be saying that she's guilty, but is she really? In any case, Mr. Wright, we don't want our school being shoved into the limelight because of this case. So if you could please refrain from picking at meaningless details such as that toy. Get this trial over with quickly. This is your client's wish, Mr. Wright. I understand. I'll do my best. Actually, could you pick up Phoenix? I'm not having a good time voicing him. Okay. It is a relief to hear that. Let's go, Hespella. Yes, Miss Darkthaw. We trading? I guess. Oh, what the heck was all that about? We've been busting our butts in there trying to prove that a spell is innocent, and she expects us to just give up now? Why are you yelling at me, Maya? But when you think about it, Darklaw's acting very strange. Her own pupil's on trial, and she just stands around reading other people's newspapers. Yeah. What's she so busy reading about, anyway? There was nothing about Aspella in that paper. Was she checking the, sco the soccer scores or something? <laughs> That's a British person thing to do. That's a British thing. <laughs> the break's almost over. We better go back. Flinch looked really confident about his new witness. I'm Aspella's defense attorney, so I'll stand by her no matter what. I, normal man, Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright. You know how there's certain characters I'm where, like, no matter what adaptation you hear them in, you just, like, can't imagine a voice for them? Phoenix is, Phoenix like, the is anti He's the antithesis of that, where I just hear any voice, I'm like, that's fine. Like, it doesn't matter. Yep. It's just Phoenix yep. right. Yep. The court will now reconvene. Prosecution as your witness ready. Of course, Your Honor. Bailiff, please bring her in. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, never mind. All right. Rue. Witness, state your name and occupation. <gasps> Al dente! The warm winds of the Mediterranean Sea carry the spicy scent of a seafood stew. You look like a horny gajinka of a Pokemon. She does, yeah. Sicilian stew that soothes the arts of sailors braving the raging waters. Blessed be the Sicilian cuisine and the nostro mare. <laughs> All right, whatever. She's extra. Whatever. The witness calls to the stand, Paul Hollywood. <laughs> Yes, Miss Aldente is employed as a cook on the freighter where the crime happened. A cook? That's, um, interesting attire you're wearing, Miss Aldente. Which one of us has taken her? I mean, I'm voicing Phoenix and the other guy, so... You're right, you're right. This is my workout fit. It gets very hot in the kitchen, you know. As much as I love getting an excuse to do a Latino accent, or... I guess that's, I guess that's supposed to be Sicilian. Yeah. But, like, let's be real. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It'll be a pleasant change after that chocoholic guard got up my nose. Nice to see the judges remain impartial. Miss Aldente discovered the defendant in the cargo hold when she went for supplies. She found a spella? That would make her the crew member that Johnny saw fighting with a spella. That is right, Mr. Wright. Miss Aldente was the first person to discover the intruder. Then she is the victim of the assault? Hit with a steel pipe out, girl! If only I'd had my precious kitchen knife with me at the time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'd have shown her my extensive and early cutting skills. <laughs> Nick, look at that! She's an expert potato peeler! I really thought that was an onion. Yeah, me too. You'd better watch out around her. I'll keep that in mind. 
All right, I keep forgetting he's me too. Witness, we will now hear your testimony. Describe to us what happened in the cargo hold. Certamente, gladly. I don't like that she's just constantly moving. That's wigging me out. It's her idol animation. <laughs> I don't like it. I went to the cargo hall to check the supplies. It was past 10 p.m. And I found that girl hiding and clutching one of them bizarro toys. She made it just <laughs> run away, so I tried to stop her. Then she grabbed the pipe. She's short, but she fierce is slowing the pipe at me. I tried to dodge. But she hit me on the head. I blacked out for a few minutes. Hmm. According to the medical report, you suffered an laceration to your head, correct? Jesus. Oof. Ah, that. It's covered by the chef hat, so you can't see it now. Tiny chef. Tiny hat. But when I chop up veggies, it hurts in the rhythm of the strikes. A chop, a chop, a chop. Horrible. Terrible. That sounds most terrible, Miss El Dente. I should have been more careful, but she looked like a little Piccola girl. Hmm, Olivia's must chop that like a little bit tall lady. Yeah, the spell is about the same size as you. I may be short, but I'm well proportioned, and that's what matters. I hate you. I hate you so much. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to present. The decisive evidence that proves the defendant's guilt. <sighs> this is a photograph of the defendant's fingies on the steel pipe. As you can see, the fingies are very clear. They were left by the assailant. They have already been examined and found to be those of the defendant. Well, yeah, that settles it. This is undoubtedly decisive evidence. What? Oh, that portrait looks bad. The fingerprints on the weapon are Espella's? Just to put your inquisitive mind at peace, Mr. Wright, there were no other fingerprints. This photograph shall be added to the evidence. <laughs> Have I not warned you, Mr. Wright? Further examination is but a waste of time. Nick, what do we do now? This evidence clearly points to Espella. You keep using this we word, Maya. We're planning that Espella we're pleading that Espella is not guilty. And if she's innocent, then the witness is lying. All we need to do is expose that lie. I've gotta think straight and focus on finding the truth. Thinking straight's really hard for me. Let me try. Really hard. Phoenix, damn it! <laughs> Get out of there! Right, that's me. The defense <laughs> may cross-examine the witness. I'm getting old, leave me alone. Twinkle. <laughs> okay. Okay. Grabbed a pipe. Okay. Hold it. I'm assuming that the handprints on the pipe are gonna show that they that she was like holding it in the wrong direction or something, like they were fighting mm -hmm. over it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you remember the moment you were hit? Um, sort of. It was dark, so I'm not exactly sure how it happened. Bring. See, I'm clever with my fingers, but not that good at dodging steel pipes, so I got it. You're, and you're positive there was no one else at the crime scene. Yep, uh, that cute guard suddenly walked in sort of nonchalantly. Now that I think about it, uh, the door suddenly opened, I turned towards it, that must have been when I got in it, so it was his fault. Huh? Oh, I'll have my revenge. They say my special spice blend is too strong for human consumption. Uma Thurman! I'm very evil. I don't think you'll ever be able to taste chocolate afterwards. <laughs> chocolate with some spices in it actually tastes really fucking yeah, good. It's, it's pretty good. Chile and chocolate. She says while smiling. Scary. Johnny said he saw the moment Olivia was hit. Yeah, and he didn't see anyone else in the room either. Hmm. So when I came to the guard's boy, I'd already captured that girl. 
There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with her testimony. Still... Hmm, got any ideas, Nick? Yeah, 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 shut up for a second. This one piece of evidence has been on my mind. It's not... <sighs> it's not something easy to see, but it feels out of place. Mm, <laughs> I didn't notice anything. I've got nothing concrete, just a hunch to go on. But should I present that? I have no idea what they're talking about. A little baby. Okay. Uh, maybe it's a contradiction in when she got hit because it was past 10 p.m. Yeah, they say 10 p.m., but they don't they don't mention timing anywhere else. I'm pretty sure, at least. Not even any of the case files. Nope, this is their whole thing. Okay, laceration to the back of head, hit with a long blunt object. Uh, inflicted light injuries, theft, and assault. Let's check. Pipe, little guy, um, some stuff. Yeah, that's about it. This is a weird piece of evidence. This is also a weird piece of evidence that they call a lot of attention to. Espella was clasping it in her hand. My ass newspaper. How could she be clasping that in her hand if uh, she hit her with the pipe? I mean, you would think that she would have two hands, but I guess not, since there's two hand marks on here. Yeah. I'll, all right, I'll try that. She's clutching one of those bizarro Hiding toys. She's clutching one of those bizarro toys. She grabbed a pipe. She sh I don't know, that doesn't she feel- She grabbed the pipe, but then it's like, if she grabbed the pipe and she was holding on to the thing, she couldn't I'll do that at the same time. I'll see if I can pull something out of that with a press. The defendant tried to escape? Mm-hmm. She had nowhere to run, though, because she was at the far end of the room. I'm really good at catching chickens. I tried to run from the knife, so I caught her rapidamente. <laughs> and when you caught her, things took a violent turn. Yeah, she was so small, you know. I wouldn't think she had it in there. There was a steel pipe propped against the wall right next to her. Was it the pipe from this picture? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she picked it up and held it in both hands, and then, woo! Yeah, it feels like it should be that. Um... Okay. I... I don't know. Let me try... I, I'm curious to see how hint coins work in this. Okay. What? What does that do? Oh, okay. Interesting. Alright. Present something, huh? I tried to dodge. Oh, god, it takes out evidence, too. Wow. For one hint coin. That's, that's super useful. That's, that's like, almost... I would say that might even be a little too in our favor, to be honest. That feels like using two mm. lifelines at once. Okay. Uh, you would think it would be this. Touch details? She swung... Let me try this. If I'm trying to, like... Trying to do that with my hands. That's backwards. That's totally backwards. Yeah. Like, she it's... would be holding the other end of it. Yeah. But it's weird that they would be like, that piece of evidence was really strange. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I've got five shots. Uh, yeah, that's just the first I case. The tag. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the tag. Nope. All right. Your Honor, what do you think of this testimony? Bullshit. Go away. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess I guess it's just that. I don't know why the hint afterwards would have been, that seemed really out of place. And it's just the evidence we were just given that is relevant to the case. You're claiming the defendant swung the pipe at you. Well, that's impossible. Why do you say that, sweetie? Ugh, what are you, a discourse girl on Twitter? <laughs> The defendant's fingerprints were found on the pipe. However, there's a contradiction here. A contradiction? Impossible! That is the most ex interesting 
Honest, <laughs> explain yourself! What, what do you mean? The position and the location are the same fucking the thing. It's the location, no. Wouldn't it be the position? Because she's holding it upside down? I guess, yeah. Yeah, I... It's the position of the fingerprints, Your Honor. Oh, the position. According to the witness's testimony, the defendant held the pipe like this. In order to hit the witness on the head, she raised the pipe like so. That is precise so what she did. And then she struck from above. But here's the problem. Think about the fingerprints that what she would have left had she done just that. What are you getting at, Mr. Wright? Look closely at the way I'm holding the pipe. In this situation, the fingerprints would look like this. The thumb is above the other fingers. Indeed, there's no doubt about it. Now, I've it's... completely forgotten to give the judge a British accent, but that's okay. <laughs> now, take a look at the fingerprints that were actually left on the pipe. Goodness, the, the thumb and some below the other fingers. What? What? Squat? That's right. <laughs> Miss El Dente. What the, what is it? Had the defendant attacked you as you described, the fingerprints would have been the other way around. Which means... Something's not right with your testimony! Ah! Just like a boss in a rhythm game, bouncing like that. Order, order, what is the meaning of this? These fingerprints were submitted as decisive evidence. How come this contradiction was not brought to light before? Ah! No! Miss Al Dente, what do you have to say about this? <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, excuse me, Miss Al Dente? Know how to bring out the full sweetness of a sweet potato? Huh? You use a pinch of salt. Interesting, I right? do use salt to make something taste sweeter. I I'm not following. I remember it now. It was the other way around, not as you expected. Uh... I'm sorry, I got a bit confused. You'd normally hold the pipe like that. But she's so small and the pipe is heavy. She held it the other way. How? Not like this. She held it in this way. Objection! Objection! But you testified as she fiercely swung the pipe at you. I'm telling you, I got confused, Olivia Sai, okay? How could you mistake the way she held the pipe if she was right in front of you? Oh, why don't you go fry an egg? What does it matter if she held it one way or the other? You wouldn't call a slightly salted sweet potato a salty potato, because it's still a sweet potato no matter what way you add to it. I have no idea what she's talking about. The witness has a point, doesn't she, Mr. Wright? Uh. Should a defendant attack the witness holding the pipe backhanded? It seems a bit unnatural, but it does make sense, I suppose. Indeed it does, Your Honor. There is no problem with this evidence after all. Does the defense agree? No. If I agree that there are no problems with this evidence, we'll be one step away from losing this case. There's got to be a contradiction somewhere in that fishy testimony. Could Espella have hit Olivia holding the no, pipe? No, she was holding no. the thing. She, like, no. She's also, like, shorter than her. There's, like, no fucking way you could in... You would have to impact them so awkwardly. Well, Miss Al Dente, I'm afraid that... You're in a pickle now. <laughs> <gasps> Using my own puns against me. I don't really see why. Adding a pack of lies to a testimony can turn things very sour for a witness. Hmm. It would seem the defense is prepared to prove its claim that there's a contradiction in this witness's testimony. Correct, Your Honor. I won't know until I try. The defense shall now present evidence to the court. The evidence contradicting the assertion that the defendant hit the witness holding the pipe backhanded is... I mean, like, fuck, how the hell would you even do that? Uh, 
so this is the real murder weapon. Or weapon, I guess. But, um... No. She couldn't do that if she was holding the thing. Like, if she was holding the little uh, tag. I mean, realistically, she could have, though. It's just a dog tag. Mm. Can you see anything in profiles maybe having to do with her injury being on the back of her head? Can I present profiles? Oh, I can! Okay. Got hit on the head while trying to seize the defendant. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Um, all right. It's been a while since I've played a game where you can present a profile. Mm, yeah, I mean, I don't think so. She's just hit to the back of the head. I, I'll try this. Well, this is it. Well, I, I will ask for your opinion on this prosecutor flinch. I don't understand what the defense is trying to say. Oh, we could say that things have gone sour for Mr. Wright rather than the witness. Ugh. Accusing me of lying is a really bad taste, you know. Oh! Oh, you know what? I think it is the autopsy because it says she was hit with a long, blunt object, and being hit with a long, blunt object wouldn't have the same sort of effect. Like, if she's holding it that way, I don't think. I, that's too much of a stretch. I messed that okay. up big time. Say, Nick, do you think she even got hit in the first place? She did. It says so in her medical report. Laceration to the back of the head. You can't see it because it's under her chef's hat. The spelly and I wouldn't be able to see it anyway. Because they're both so short. <gasps> that made me think of something. Lorenz, are you still there? Uh, yes, please. Give me another chance. Hmm. No matter how you slice it, you can't prove anything. The defense shall now blah, 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 blah. I, nothing about this implies their height. Hit with a long blunt, I'm... If she's short and it's a long blunt object and she was holding it down at her level, she wouldn't have the height. Yeah, all right, I guess. I'm just, I'm just confused because to me, like, I guess I thought what they were implying was that she basically like leaned all the fucking way back and like, it, like, cause it, the fact that she's holding it wrong is immediate. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, no, she tried to hit the other one. It's that Olivia had it, and she tried to hit her with it, and the reason that her, her fingerprints are backwards is because she grabbed it to stop it from hitting her. I don't... Like... So I don't... Just present, present the medical, medical report. Okay, this doesn't make sense to me. Miss Aldente... You previously testified that you were using the hat to cover the wound you received in the assault. It's normal for signorinas to cover up things that they don't want others to see. That's not all. You also describe the defendant as little, if you recall. That is, e uh, that is to say, Miss Contabella is, at the very least, shorter than you. I give her a little kiss. I've grown tall and healthy thanks to the wonderful Mediterranean sunshine. Let me ask you then. How did a girl shorter than you, holding a heavy pipe backhanded, manage to land a blow to the back of your head? See, to me, again, this is just such an obvious logical leap from the previous contradiction. I feel like mm -hmm. this one was should have been omitted entirely. Because, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, the minute you're holding it backwards, you can't hit them. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I feel like we're already here. I'd say it's impossible. Um, the fingerprints on the weapon show the defendant held it backhanded. But even if she didn't, didn't what? It is highly unlikely she would be able to hit Miss Al Dente's head like that. And there's no fingerprints on Al Dente's end because she's wearing gloves. Order, I will have order. What is the defense getting at? Objection! Even if it was highly unlikely, it cannot be proven that it was impossible. Prove a negative. Prove. Prove. Miss Contabella's fingerships, fingerchips were her fingies. Her fingies, fingies were found on fingies, Professor. Her fingies were found on that pipe, Your Honor. Mm, nothing can change the fact that it was the defendant who held the weapon. Mm, that is so. Does the defense have any comments? I can't deny that. It's clear that Espella did hold that pipe. 
Hmm, she held it like this, right? Why would she do that? It'd be hard to hit anyone like this. Like, yeah, I know. I just, I just feel like the second we proved the fingerprint thing, I don't know. When she holds it that way, it looks as if... The court recognizes the validity of the prosecution's objection. Fingies on the weapon prove that it was used Objection. by the defendant. Objection! The defendant's fingerprints may be on the pipe. However, that doesn't prove she hit anyone with it. I imagine that um these two, both of the witnesses, were in on this jewel heist. The cook mm. was trying to take this girl out and then for some reason Smiley got confused and hit her with his flashlight. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's maybe he's not in on it, but I think he hit her on the head either way. That doesn't prove she hit anyone with it. Objection! Nonsense! What else would she pick up a steel pipe for? Objection! Oh, I think I've got a pretty good idea. Sweats. What I say next will turn this trial around. The defendant's fingerprints were left on the weapon when she tried to defend herself. Well, naturally, she held the pipe with both hands when she stopped it from coming down on her head. S stop it! With both hands? That's right, like this! You see, without Gumshoe here, I need Maya to hold the objects for me and rotate them in three-dimensional space. She's really just a coat rack. Please, take another look at this photo. These are not the fingerprints of an assailant, but rather the fingerprints of a victim who was defending herself. Ugh. Which brings us to the conclusion that Miss Contabella didn't attack the witness. She was in fact a victim desperately trying to defend herself. This cannot be! And if Miss Contabella was a victim, who was the real assailant? There's only one person who could have done it. Hmm. The only other person at the crime scene was Olivia Aldente. It was you, wasn't it? Court will be adjourned. Be quiet, all of you. Oh, oh, it's her. Oh no. You just don't quit, do you? I'm gonna kill the seal. Kill the seal. Oh. Kill. A lousy lawyer like you should get the chop. I'm about to show you my knife up close. Objection! Objection! Have you lost your mind, Mr. Wright? The witness is the victim, not the assailant. There are no fingerprints other than the defendants on the weapon! Objection! You're right! Look at the witness's outfit. And tell her to stop That's doing really that. That's really clever that they had her hands always moving about and doing stuff to show that she was wearing the gloves. Hmm. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good about that kind of thing. She's wearing gloves. That's why she left no fingerprints. <laughs> you prickly sea urchin! Objection! But you cannot be sure she was wearing gloves that night. Objection. The witness has called this her work outfit, so she must have been wearing it when she went to check supplies. You devious lawyer, slippery as an eel. It was me because I had gloves on, as if it was only me wearing gloves. Oh. Um, she's the only one in the courtroom wearing gloves. There was that guy, the guard, he was wearing gloves too. The guard. Oh, so that was the previous witness? Oh, and that's right. Gloves are part of the guard's uniform by regulation. See, that guard, John, he was wearing gloves that night, too. <laughs> what do you say to that, Mr. Wright? Since you're claiming that the assailant is the person who had the gloves on, that would make the guard a suspect as well. Could Johnny be the culprit? No. Johnny Smiles is not the culprit. Well, not any woman with gloves could have done it. You didn't just say that. Uh, no, I didn't. However, it does seem plausible that the guard could have done it. He was wearing gloves after all. I'm afraid that's impossible, Your Honor. And I have proof. Sticky fingies. You do. Fascinating. Let's see this proof, if you really have it. 
please enlighten us as to why smiles cannot be the culprit. Prove! Prove! Mr. Smiles is, to put it nicely, what you may call a free spirit. There is no guarantee he would follow the rules and wear his full uniform. And this evidence proves he did not wear gloves. Wait, don't throw that filthy torch at me! Oh, someone please wipe the chocolate off this evidence! No, Your Honor, this chocolate is the evidence. What? Mr. Smiles was snacking on a chocolate bar during his patrol. That's why his flashlight is in this sorry state. And covered in his chocolatey fingies. Therefore, we know that he didn't wear gloves when patrolling the ship that night. Rule-breaking, chocolate-loving Johnny Smiles was not the culprit. What? That's ridiculous! It's too silly! Objection! He sounds like fucking Double D from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. You're right. Your Honor, the defense has merely pointed out a possibility. To call this witness a criminal without actual evidence is against... Uh, uh, it's, it's cuckoo bananas! Objection. I'll show you cuckoo bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone say cuckoo bananas? The prosecution's duty is to clear what doubts there may be regarding the defendant's guilt. That's not true. And I have demonstrated that there is, at the very least, a possibility that the witness is not telling the truth. Objection! Objection! At the very least, Espella Contabella is not innocent! As corroborated by the PC Badger, the toy she attempted to steal! Ah. What was that? Did Olivia just freeze for a second? Prosecutor Flinch, explain to the court about this toy, this new piece of evidence. This is the stuffed toy the defendant tried to steal that night. Shit! Um, none of its legs. <laughs> this mishap befell PC Badger as the witness and defendant were fighting. The captain of the freighter reported the damage after the defendant's arrest. <laughs> yeah, they went around with a clipboard and were like, One PC badger down. Another casualty. Call it in. I can't believe how busy I am this week on stupid cases. Busy. So this is the stuffed animal Olivia snatched from a speller. I see. The court would like to hear the witness's testimony regarding this evidence. Witness, your testimony. Can you put that away? Seriously. I excuse me. Witness, you have been asked to testify. Ah. I'll just put this back in my pants. Who cares? I'm so very sorry. I got a little bit upset from all these accusations. I'm not used to this, to being called a liar. Ah, yes. It's only natural. Don't worry about that. It's all that slimy attorney's fault. Why do I feel like an earl? Why do I feel like an earl on a chirping world? <laughs> the witness will now testify. Please, Bamber. Bamber. No. Gladly. Click, click. Oh, he'll no stromare. I wonder what she's saying. I don't get it. I'm stupid. Whatever she said, I'll make sure this is the last time she says it in court. No Stromare, new C. I wrestled this toy back from that thief and then gave it to the police. When I found the girl, I thought I couldn't let her get away with her precious cargo. Naturalmente, I had to get the toy back from her first. His leg got ripped off, though. But there's no way I could have attacked her with the pipe. I was holding the toy in one hand. I don't remember much about when I was hit, but I got the toy back in this. <laughs> I see, what a commendable attitude. Going to such lengths to protect the cargo. I may not be a security guard, but I'll do what it takes for the sake of our ship. It didn't do much good in the end. Oh. This PC Badger is way too damaged to be sold. Oh, these lovely little toys are made at the workshop in London. 
We transport them down the river Thames, distributing them to children as we go. What? Bing. Didn't she call them bizarro toys earlier? And now suddenly they're cute? Sorry, water break. Yeah. It is a soft toy, after all, so no usable fingerprints were found. I... okay. I don't think that's how fingerprints work. Uh, that is unfortunate. Evidence! <laughs> the defense may now cross-examine the witness. Hold it! So you didn't hit the defendant with this steel pipe. Aren't you forgetting who's the victim here, sweetie? I am, and didn't strike myself with that pipe. <laughs> I am forgetting who the victim is. Hmm, I stupid. Aren't you getting things backwards, feeling dizzy? Maybe you haven't been eating properly. Hmm, she's right. Someone else must have hit her. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but... Hold it. You don't remember much about it? Yeah, and the room was dark because only the emergency light was on. But there was definitely no one else in that room, only me and the little girl. So, it had to be her that hit me. She's not having second thoughts about that, it seems. So that's it, huh? Well, Nick? This one's easy. I know what to do. You're finally starting to act like your normal self. That jet lag must have hit you like a ton of bricks, huh? There's a clear contradiction in Olivia's testimony. It's time to present some evidence and expose her lies. I didn't pick up on it. It's it's so much harder to play this game while voicing it. Cuz you're it just is. you're just not absorbing what you're reading. Let's see what we got. Okay. Oh. Oh, she's got a He's still got his tag on. It's kind of surprising. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really know what that implies. Can I? Okay. Do you think they're shipping diamonds inside of these stupid dolls? <laughs> it's leg ripped off, but the pipe. But she didn't mention anything about the tag getting ripped off. Even though she was holding on to the Yeah, tag. that that seems reasonable. Let's try it. Objection. Nope. Dang. Blah. 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 Boom. Eh. What? Oh, okay. Okay. Is is this one the tag? Objection. Yes, okay. Mm. Miss Al Dente, I would like to confirm just one thing. The stuffed animal you submitted to the police. Is it this one? Yeah, that's the one. No doubt about it. I'm sorry, but if that's the case, things simply don't add up. What doesn't add up? Um, if it is about the leg, it's that girl's fault. It got ripped off because she wouldn't let go. The problem is not something that's missing from this stuffed animal. On the contrary, it's something that shouldn't be there in the first place. S something that shouldn't be there? And that is, of course, this item. That... that's... This is the final piece of evidence received from the guard, Mr. Smiles. 
When I seized that girl at the crime scene, she was clasping this in her hand. She didn't even seem to notice. Strange, isn't it? Something was definitely ripped off of this plushie. But it wasn't its leg. It was the tag. <laughs> you noticed it too, didn't you, Miss Al Dente? This, if this is the stuffed animal that Miss Contabella was holding when you found her, then why is the tag still on it? <laughs> Die! Order! Order! I will have order! What is the meaning of this? Hey, you tasteless looking prosecutor over there! Uh, yes? What's this about the tag? You didn't tell me anything about that! If. If you'll please calm down. It's no use blaming the prosecutor. Hmm? He didn't even know this tag existed. Objection! For better or worse, this tag's existence has only recently come to light. Neither the prosecution, nor you, your honor, knew about it before this trial. <sighs> then why is there a tag on this toy? How come this toy has a tag? The answer's simple. There's a tag on this stuffed animal, because... She took the wrong toy, or the toy... Like, these are the same thing! Alright, uh... <sighs> I'm gonna go with this one. Saying on Savvy's messaging me. Well, most likely, Miss Aldante took a different plushie by the... by... she fucked it up! What?! The toys all look the same, so she ended up picking the wrong one. OBJECTION! How can you claim she would make such a mistake? That toy is missing a leg! Uh... What you said... <laughs> what you said was so ludicrous that I raised an objection for no reason! How about we hang a useless attorney tag on your neck, darling? Yeah, great. Let's all play gang up on Phoenix, guys. Miss Wright, I'll ask again. Stop fucking up. Well, I'm glad there's no punishment for this. Uh... I don't know. She put a new tag on it. Well, I don't know. It doesn't matter. She swapped it for another! Yeah. Listen to yourself. Why would I even do something like that? Ridiculous. And that, that's right. That tag must be a fake. A fake? Why would you think that? That chocolate fake must be trying to frame me. That's what it is. Objection! Mr. Smiles has no motive to do something like that. Objection! No motive. He doesn't require much thinking to come up with one. He wanted attention. I yes, was supposed well, to. said the guy lied to show off. That's all there is to it. Did Johnny. Did Johnny produce bogus evidence to draw attention to himself? Is? No! It's an interesting theory, but it's impossible. And how do you know? I'll dice you like an onion. It's a long first case. Anyway, was Mr. Smiles lying? There's an easy way to find out. What? How do you plan to check it? By asking him. By checking the fingerprints, of course. Finger... F fingies? Ah! Fingies! According to Mr. Smile's testimony, when he seized Miss Contabella, she was holding a tag in her hand. Therefore, her fingerprint should still be on that tag. Bailiff, have this evidence investigated immediately! That was awesome, Nick! We've almost got her now! Mr. Flinch, I have a question for you. Uh, what is it? When you searched the crime scene, did you find a toy without a tag? Hmm. Well, Mr. Flinch, did you? Ah! Uh, uh, no! We, uh, um... Considering the circumstances, it did not seem necessary to investigate quite so thoroughly. 
But at the very least, I can tell you that all the toys in the crate had tags on. Excuse me. Your Honor? What is it, Mr. Wright? It appears no stuffed animal was found without a tag. Which means that it may still be hidden at the crime scene. Ugh. Your Honor, the defense requests that the ship be searched. Thoroughly this time. Send a forensics team there immediately. You're requesting another search. Objection! What? Surely you can't be serious. Whether the toy was swapped or not, it doesn't matter in the least. They are all the same. Any of them will do just fine. That's exactly why it's important. <laughs> all these plushies are the same. There's no need to swap one for another. And yet... Why is it the witness is getting so worked up about it? That's... That's just... I had a feeling that there was something odd about this case. A stolen stuffed animal and an assault connected to it. There had to be more to it. There had to be another crime under the surface. Nick! I'm impressed. This is a rare Ace Attorney case that isn't a murder. This is it. What should I do? Why? Yeah, I still want the search. Your Honor, the defense insists on a search. Should a plushie without a tag be found on the ship? Then there's a strong possibility this case will be resolved. Objection! The, the process- oh, oops. You'll find them a stolen diamonds. I hit them in the- I hit them in the tuna! I'm convinced. Goodness. What the fuck? Miss Aldente, why did you swap the stuffed animal? And why are you so afraid of having the ship searched? PC Badger holds all the answers! Hmm. Hey, I say, Mr. Wright, could it be that you already know the reason behind the swap? Of course, I don't have any definitive proof, but... When it comes to pointing out a possibility, I might have something. Hmm. Very well then, let's see some evidence. Take that. There's a certain article in this newspaper. Elusive jewel thieves at large in London. Scotland Yard on reg, on reg alert. They've sent Reggie out to solve the case. You'll get it done. Oh, that robbery, I've heard about it, of course. A group of thieves robbed a jewelry shop and made away with about 50 pieces of jewelry. Does jewelry have two L's in it? Uh, depending. Okay. Many extremely valuable stones were stolen as well. Scotland Yard's under great pressure to find them. All packages sent out from London are being scrutinized by the police. And what does this have to do with our case? Nothing! I beg to differ. The jewel theft took place in London. And that's where our freighter picked up its cargo. London? Ugh, it, it can't be. Witness? That night, you discover the defendant in the cargo hold. She was holding one of the plushies. You knew you had to get it back. You had to get it back at all costs, but why go so far for a mere plushie? There is only one possible reason. You couldn't afford to have the police discover what was inside of it! <laughs> Good. Please put me back in the Thames. I need water, please. It's me, Tammy Tuna. <laughs> we have just received a report from the team investigating the crime scene. This story was hidden between a storage unit and a pipe. Ah. Hmm. The toy has been cut open and the contents examined. And this was found inside, a pink diamond worth approximately 100,000 euros. Are we sure it's not rose quartz? We have all received a report from the crime lab. 
The defendant's fingies have been found on the tag. Do you have anything to say, Miss Al Dente? I'm <laughs> dead on the ground. I lost, didn't I? So, so you're a. Yeah, I'm a one of them. I'm one of the jewel thieves. My role was to get the loot out of London. The police never checked the regular shipments from the workshop. We decided to take advantage of the blind spot. Indeed. The regular direct delivery service has been overlooked by the police. Possibly because that workshop produces the very mascots representing the police. The other crew had nothing to do with it. I used their ship, but that's all. It was you who hid the jewels inside the plushies. There was one jewel in each toy. I was carrying them away one by one. The defendant happened to pick up one of those toys. I had my heart stand still when I saw that girl in the cargo hold. Wherever I was free, I stood guard in front of that room, and yet she got in somehow. So, there she was in the room with the hidden loot, one of the toys in her hand. Um, so how did a spell get in there? I don't know if she was trying to steal the toy or what, but I just had to get it back from her, no matter the cost. Then I added in a different toy and made it look like it was ripped in the fight. It would have been over for me if the police had found any of the jewels. But, wait. Who was it in the end? Who hit it, Olivia? Or who hit Olivia? Oh, I almost forgot about that. You don't know? No one else was supposed to be in that room. But what if there was someone in the shadows? Some mischievous person hidden in the darkness. It was me! I have to confess something. This was a most unusual case. It cannot be said that all mysteries have been resolved, but it has become clear that Miss Cantabella is incest. She good. Get her out of here. Oh. Well then, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? It would seem that I owe you thanks for helping us see the truth. Uh, no need to thank me, Your Honor. I was just doing my job. Like I always do. Is that really the smartest thing you could come up with? And Mr. Flinch? I yes, Your Honor. This trial was part of the Legal League of Attorneys Exchange Program, wasn't it? May this trial serve as a lesson for you, too. Is that understood? Oh. 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 Do not envy people trying to match and, like, dub over the breakdowns in these games. Mm -hmm. The court has reached its verdict. I pronounce the defendant a spell accountable. Not guilty. Yay. We did it. Congratulations, you did it, Nick! Yeah, thanks. I guess I should be happy. Fuck you. <laughs> Never mind. But Darklaw's cold gaze is stirring daggers through me. Thank you, Mr. Wright. You are better than I thought. Had I known earlier that I would have asked you to prove a speller innocent from the very start. Uh, I'm glad you're happy about the verdict. Espella, come and thank Mr. Wright. Thank you, Mr. Wright. C glad I could help. Uh, hmm, help, that's me, I forgot. What's that big book you've got there? Oh, please forgive her. She's a bit shy, you see. She's very fond of books. 
At any rate, now Espella can return to her peaceful life at our boarding school. And it's all thanks to your hard work, Mr. Wright. Now, please excuse us. We have some formalities to attend to. Oh, yes, of course. Mr. Wright. You were truly outstanding in that courtroom today. Farewell. Fades. <laughs> Peace sign. It's finally over. You know, something's still bothering me about this case. Hmm? The person who hit Olivia. Where did they go? That's true. We don't know who actually assaulted Olivia. If it wasn't Espella, yeah. there must have been another person at the crime scene. But neither Olivia nor Johnny saw anyone else. The room was dark, save for the emergency light. I'm sure someone hid in the shadows. And Johnny was wearing sunglasses. I'm amazed he saw anything at all. He missed all those clues, so it's not much of a stretch to imagine he missed the perpetrator, too. Hmm. How about we head back now? Let's go check out Tower Bridge while we're still at the top. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. It's day! What is it, Maya? What is it, Maya? It's me. A podcaster voicing Phoenix Wright. There, on the couch. Isn't that Estella's book? It is the book she was holding. We should return it to her. Why do you deliver lines like that? Hey, Nick. Let's see what kind of stuff Espella likes to read. Just quit it, Maya. <laughs> These two guards? Oh, did you Not see that? Olivia, huh? Hmm? What? Huh? <gasps> huh? Maya, look. It's the famous Professor Layton and Luke Triton. <laughs> the amount of difference in the fanfare they used getting Layton and Luke in there versus... <laughs> Alright. I guess we're inside. That's a good stopping point. Yep. You gonna, you gonna let me save? 135 picarats! Oh no, you get different picarats by how uh, believable you are at the end of a trial. <laughs> hmm. Whatever. Conchman. See, it's always it's always worth a little smile. Uh, maybe save state. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. That's that's gonna be it. I don't know when we're gonna come back to this. Um, I'm I'm excited to see more of Leighton and Luke because I was having a goddamn blast when they were around and yeah. very very noticeably enjoyed the game less when it became Ace Do Attorney. Do you think we just don't like Ace Attorney? I think Ace Attorney gets noticeably worse to play when you are reading it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That's about it. All right.